No matter your I.O. node configuration, at PowerUp, our Wago couplers detect all the I.O. modules and then generate an internal process image. Here we will explain how the Wago coupler then correlates that to the Modibus addressing for you in your I.O. application. For our example here, we will be using the 750-362 Modbus coupler. When power is applied to the coupler, it automatically detects all the I.O. modules attached to it and creates an internal process image. This can be a mixture of digital, analog, and specialty modules. The process image is divided into an input and an output data area. The I.O. modules are read in, starting from the closest to the coupler, then proceeding to the right until you reach the end module. To optimize size of the process image, data of the analog and specialty modules are mapped first because they are word-based modules. Each analog point is one word of data. So for example, a four-channel analog module would take up to four words of data. After all word-based modules are mapped, then the digital modules are mapped in the form of words, 16 bits per word. Each digital point is one bit of data. When the number of digital points exceeds 16 bits, the next word is used, and so on. Here is a graphical example of the creation of the process image. Starting to read from the closest module to the coupler, we start looking for the first analog module. Here we find the 750-467, a two-channel input module. That would fill in our word 1 and our word 2 of the input process image. Next, another 750-467. That would take up word 3 and 4. Next analog is a 750-550, a two-channel analog output module. That will fill in our word 1 and 2, but of the output process image. We keep reading for analogs until we reach the end module, but here we do not find any more. Now we start reading again from the left, looking for the digital modules. The first digital module is a 750-402, a four-channel digital input. That will fill in four bits of word five of the input process image. Another 402 then fills in the next four bits. The next digital is a 750-501, a two-channel digital output module. That module will fill in two bits of word three of the output process image. The next 501 module fills in bits 3 and 4 of word 3. Now we see another 4-channel digital input module. We fill in bits 9, 10, 11, and 12 of word 5. Our scan is now complete. Looking at this chart for each process image, you will see the relationships between the I.O. and the process image memory location. Now, referencing these next two tables, you can see the Modbus TCP UDP addressing used for word and bit access. As you have seen, Modbus addressing with a Wago coupler is automatic and very easy to understand. Contact your local distributor or Wago's tech support to easily assist you.